Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another DIY tutorial. So as you've read from the title, this will be a Shein inspired top. And it's this top over here. I saw it on the Shein website. It's this one and I wanted to make one for myself. By the way guys, I curled my hair. This is my first time curling my hair. And it looks pretty good actually. See? And yeah. This is what it looks like. Yeah. It looks classy. You know, like like a 60, 60s or 1950s inspired, something like that. It looks like a 1950s or 1960s haircut. You know, like an expensive woman's 1960s haircut. Something like that. See? So back to our top, I saw this design on Shein and when I was browsing through Shein, I also saw some designs that I previously made that I never saw on Shein before. Like, you know, did Shein copy me or mm, something like that? I don't know. Maybe Shein made it first or I made it first. We don't know. But I'm really happy that design is there. It's this one. And also on my previous video, I made this kind of top. A bit different, but somewhat similar. I'll be putting the link down below in the description box so that you can watch it right after this video. Those tops are really easy to make, actually. So, yeah. Um, probably on the next few videos, I will be making some Shein inspired tops. I'll be browsing through Shein and I'll try to recreate some of their tops. Now, before we get started with the tutorial, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And let's get started with the tutorial. So to make this top, you will need these measurements. This is 9 inches wide and 50 inches long with half an inch seam allowance all around. Now, the second line over here that you see, this will be the casing for our elastic. So these two this is the casing for our elastic and this one is the seam allowance so what we're gonna do is we're going to show on a straight stitch from the first line over here from one end to the other and then also over here at the bottom we're just going to show on a straight stitch so this is what it looks like after we have sewed on the straight stitch now what we're gonna do next is we're going to flip this right side out and then we're going to show on another straight stitch on this line over here to make the casing for our elastic What it looks like after we have ironed it flat and sewed on the straight stitch for our casing now what we're gonna do next is we're going to flip this right side out again so that the casing over here will be inside of the fabric now this is what it should look like after you have flipped it so the casing is right inside of our fabric so this is one of the casing and this is the other as you can see it's inside so now we're going to iron this flat. Once you're done with that, we are going to fish through the elastic inside the casing. 
So this is what it looks like after we have ironed it flat. Now you're going to take your elastic and secure it with a safety pin on one end. And then we are going to fish it through inside the casing that we made over here. So this is what it looks like after we have fished through our elastic. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take both ends of our top and we're going to sew them together using a straight stitch. So you're just going to fold it in half like so and then pin it in place. And then we have here the line that we drew on earlier. This is the seam allowance. So we're going to sew on a straight stitch onto this line over here. Now to make our strap, you will need two strips of fabric that is 25 inches long and 1 inch thick. Now you're going to fold your straps like so. So as you can see, I already did it for both of the straps. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to sew on a straight stitch as close to the edge as possible. This is what it looks like after sewing on the straight stitch. Now what you're going to do is to make your straps into adjustable straps. I already showed you on my previous videos on how to make adjustable straps. So this is what it looks like as you can see. Now what we're going to do next is you're going to take your top and then attach the straps onto our top but before that make sure that you wear the top first so that you can mark out where you want to put the straps on so over here i already drew on my marks so this is one two and then at the back we have three and then where's the other one four so we have four marks for the straps. So this is what our top looks like after showing on the straps. And as you can see, this is where we sewed on the straps. So don't mind this. This will be covered when we wear it because it is um, a ruched or gathered top. So it will be covered up. And this is where we sewed on the straps. And also on the other side and here as well and over here so this is what our top looks like it is a garterized top so as you can see all of our fabric is gathered on the top and on the bottom over here and this is what the side and the back looks like and it is also an adjustable strap so yeah. And that is it for our tutorial guys this top is really cute as in super cute i can see myself wearing this on the beach you know it's really nice beach top like a summer top it's not really something that you can wear at the mall well actually you can if you put on a cardigan or a blazer on top you can probably wear this at the mall or somewhere else besides the beach well for me i'll be wearing this at the beach since summer is already coming very soon so yeah, that is it for today's video guys. I hope you like it and if you do, please hit like. Also, for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and also the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!